um, we're going to be talking about uh, how to use social media and PR to increase sales. So this is another statistics in the did you know section um, that 78% of social sellers outsell peers who don't use social media. And we have with us today, uh, Mita, who's a, a longtime friend as well of the program and uh, a, an expert when it comes to basically communicating uh, on the business channels, Twitter and LinkedIn. I follow her a lot. She's really good at connecting. So we'd love to hear Mita from you about your own tips and techniques about how to communicate really well um, to get more business. Hi, Charlie. Um, I don't know about communicating well, but I do communicate a lot. And I'm hopefully using the right skills, but is my clients are not complaining yet. Um, I would actually endorse everything that uh, I'm not so much, I'm not, no, I'm in communication. So exactly what Alex and Dimitri both said are very, very resonate a lot with me. Uh, blogs are great ways for companies to communicate their, uh, their PR, their messages, their announcements. You know, they don't have to actually send out a press release all the time. And you can leverage that to your social media to actually do the networking you need to make sure that people can actually see your messages, share your messages. You can create discussion points around it using social media. I don't think people actually even bother to create a social media page. I, don't, I know a lot of companies who don't even have a LinkedIn page. How can you have a business and not have a LinkedIn page? I'm sorry. I mean, that's one of the first places people are going to, especially during the last year, more than anything else. People are looking at LinkedIn to find the right connections, to see who the people are, who they want to do business with, what kind of information they have in there, what stories they have in there, um, who they are. You can talk about it and, and empower your team contribute and post and share it as well on social and it's not just it's LinkedIn, it's Twitter, it's Facebook, it's everything. They need to know and understand the right messaging. They need to have help to have information uh, shared, what kind of information to you. Somebody who's in communications can create the key messages that their team. I've actually done so, uh, social media training camps with some of my clients on this thing, train their team, their sales teams their marketing team, their communications teams, or the people who are doing cold calling and how they can use LinkedIn, how they can use social media, how they can use Facebook, how they can use Twitter, when they should use them, what kind of messages they need to do it. And I absolutely agree with Dimitri. I have a Google My Business and I actually do updates on my Google My Page as posts. So anything that I have on my blog that I create a story around or any of my clients have, I create a post on my Google My Page. So if you go to, to search for Market Buzz and you see on, on Google, you'll see all the posts as well. So I'm that way I'm raising the awareness of my clients and my business, et cetera, and so people can see that. So I absolutely agree with what they've done. And I think that you need to look at where your audience is, where you're getting your business from, where is where are the people you're doing business with, which social media platforms they're in. It's not about, so and I'm talking, I deal with B2B guys. I deal with people who are doing B2B business, not consumer business. Where player, uh, platforms like LinkedIn and uh, Twitter are key because you can do so much and Google My Business, very, very important for you. You're reaching the right decision makers. 